This game debuted four years ago on four different platforms. It was released a year later for another console. Earlier this year, yet another. And just when you thought the nightmare was over, this thing's found yet another platform to infect. I mean, this is, this is like a video game virus. It's Brunswick Pro Bowling. Released a few weeks ago, the Nintendo 3DS version is the seventh, count them, seventh iteration of Brunswick Pro Bowling. A game that has reliably sucked ever since 2007. Now I know six strikes in a row is called a turkey in bowling terms, but I think there ought to be a name for sucking seven times in a row as well. Maybe we can call it, maybe we can call it a Brunswick. Or maybe a, a B, a BPB. That's a Brunswick poop box. Now, I'm not going to pretend I've played all seven of the Brunswick games. I am not a sadist, but I have played a few. And I think I have more than enough experience with this series to tell you with some degree of authority that Brunswick Pro Bowling is a complete waste of plastic, manpower, electricity, marketing, money, and most importantly, my time. Now, the funny thing is, or maybe the insulting thing is, that if you go to the website for Brunswick Pro Bowling, you're given this ridiculous tagline that claims, this is the only game to feature a realistic and authentic bowling experience while showcasing jaw-dropping ball and pin physics. Now listen, I realize it's someone's job to write that kind of, that kind of PR nonsense, but I gotta tell you, that's the most unconvincing collection of words, punctuation, and the term jaw-dropping I have ever seen. I mean, as you read that, you can almost hear the marketing team laughing at you. Uh, speaking of laughing, this game has two main gameplay modes, each of which is equally laughable. The arcade mode has you using the circle pad, and you can also play with the stylus, which is how I'm playing here. Of course, given the choice between the two, I'd take the, uh, SEASICK CROCODILE! But to be fair, the stylus controls are probably the better way to go. You flick forward, and your bowling ball goes down the lane in accordance with the speed and velocity of the motion. This actually isn't a terrible way to play the game. In fact, it's somewhat serviceable. However, the problem with Brunswick Pro Bowling is that the game itself is so horrendous, the only flicking motion you'll want to make involves a certain finger. And you know what? We'll be fair about this. Let's, we'll put the production values aside. Let's ignore the fact that when you load this game, the top screen is just, it's just totally blank. I mean, hey, wh why put anything up there at all? That's, it's just a sign of things to come in terms of half-hearted production. But again, we'll forget that. This game sucks because it's boring, not because it's ugly and cheap. Actually, never mind. It, it sucks because of that, too. There are quick play and career modes, as well as a challenge mode, but the differences are largely in name, because they're all built on the same dull bowling mechanics. The career mode gives you tournaments to play and money to earn, but I don't think even winning real money would make this game a worthwhile endeavor. You gotta give it up for tenacity and, you know, sticking with it. And seven games in, that's certainly what Brunswick Pro Bowling is doing. But it's incredible to me that a product like this can even make it to retail, let alone charge you $30 for it. Brunswick Pro Bowling has never been worth that price, and on the Nintendo 3DS, it's worth even less.